bullet head. There we go. Yes. Welcome back to Dad Meat. Ian Finance. Hello. Woo! And for those of you wondering in the chat, yes, Ian just did finish sucking me off. So thank you, Ian. I did. <laughs> Whoa. It was oh, really nice of you. Fist bump me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I put the knife to my neck and said, let me suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Welcome, sorry. my friend. Sorry, I'm wondering. Thank you for having me, man. Man. I, I went to the wrong address that's been I happening know. more and more lately the yeah. did that too there's there's something pulling people there too well i'm we got to find out what it through is and i'm like well because it's the same exact address in a in yeah Folsom and then prospect park and i hit mm -hmm. Folsom. it is kind of gay how there's 15 towns yes mm -hmm. like and every and in every town the there's same a street fourth avenue or yeah. fucking whatever and i'm driving through and i'm like huh this neighborhood looks real different with snow in it. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that's did, <laughs> did you meet the people whose house you went to? Yeah, I went inside. I was like, where's the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm here to suck <laughs> each other's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I'm like, where's my knife? <laughs> Where yeah. is a child play uh, VR? Hope <laughs> <like, what? laughs> you guys don't mind. I took two blue chew and brought a knife. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just terrified children pressed against the wall. Where do you think I got all these Pellegrinos from? <laughs> I stole them from that house. Uh, yeah, Damn, so man. do something about that. I, I mean, will, man, yeah. Just it's say it's not the one, it's the one. Yeah, I will. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I will go there, oh. and I'm going to fucking throw a brick through their window. You know, yeah, you know would be great if we Dude, could get someone to go. Fun. Just go tell someone to just walk in. They're going to text and say, like, hey, I'm out front. Like, okay, just come in. Force the door if it seems like it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah. It gets stuck a lot. You might have to, like... Twist it really hard and hit it with your shoulder. Dude, send Lemare, Nate, <laughs> and Keen Actually, Cobb. <laughs> send Lemare and Keen. And just be like, oh, yeah, we're stuck inside. Could you just break the window and climb yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's food in the fridge for you. Dude. Just like an escape bear. Dude, we're doing a new bit. There's a gun <laughs> under the pillow in the bedroom. It's fake. Go get it. And for a while, we were scaring black guests by having my son hide behind the couch dressed as Chucky. So I Dude, think this is going to be the new trick for our black guests. You scared a white guest when you had him come in the last time I was here as Chucky. I forgot we did that to you. cut your leg hair. I don't think it's just a black thing. I think it's a guest thing. <laughs> But finally, I feel like one of the brothers. <laughs> you look like one of the brothers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm curing many N-word passes. <laughs> Holding them for later. Oh, there was a what guy giving them out at our show the other night. Yeah, really? we got some N-word passes last night. Black guy or white the other guy? Night. Black guy. Oh, really? Yo, Dude, we they should yeah, we sell them as NFTs. <laughs> that would wow. be awesome. Yeah, and you know what the N-word is. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we got three black dudes to come to our show in Boston. That rules. Incredible. Three black dudes in one in room. Boston. In Boston. Boston. That's wild. It's basically a million in any other venue. Dude, Tim Butterly King Jr. Dude, that's like hitting the white Powerball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> white Powerball. Yes. When something happens, can we go clink clink? Yeah. Cool. There. Yeah, that worked. What's up oh, with you, man? Yeah. I haven't seen you in a Dude, very long time. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen you since uh, Skank Fest when I was severely Whoa, injured. Brutal. Yeah. Oh, is that God. True? Or yeah. Did I see you in the city? No, you no got I have your, not seen you, dude. You were you got more your back blown up. out at Skank Fest. Dude, I did, man. <laughs> Ian, you I were did. more physically fucked up well, than anybody I've ever seen <laughs> like, well, under fucking 80 ass. years old. What's that? You were more fucked up than anybody I've ever seen bro. under 80 years old. I was in a bad fucking way. It was so at sad. 6 o'clock in the morning, I got up. I seized up in pain, and I got up to go to the bathroom, and I fell in the hotel room and I was just on the ground. I was like, am I going to die? Was anybody in there with you? Huh? Anybody there with you? No, I called my buddy who's basically like my doctor who I like grew Whoa, up with. What, He's what's a doctor. That what do you mean? He's basically like my doctor. <laughs> no, like when something happens, I call him up. I and call I'm my like, smartest this is going boy. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I call is, he, is he an friend. actual doctor to anyone else? An actual orthopedic doctor. Oh, uh, yes. okay. That's kind of real. And, Matt, uh, get in here. Matt's yes. here. Whoa, what look who it is. Up. Yo, what's up, dude? Hell Grab yeah. a seat. Get comfy. Welcome, baby. What's up, dude? <sighs> Matt, how are you, Someone baby? Someone on Twitter so said so the sorry. shaman and the scammon. I know. That's Ooh. what the episode should be titled. Whoa. Help yourself to a Pellegrino. If, this, Ooh, if we were in LA, that. that would already be a podcast with like a million dollar studio <laughs> you know, tomorrow. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. If they, someone says something cool about you one time in L.A., that's your new podcast. All right. Well, yeah. we're outside of Philly, so we're using my mom's Highlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's put some uh, microphones in an Altima. Yes. <laughs> that would be perfect. Just want to apologize for being tardy? Uh, you don't Dude, apologize for anything, too. baby. No apologies, here. no apologies necessary here, it's friend. Bad. It's my bust. Matt, how are you doing? Good, man. I just had a little Sunday uh, family dinner. Oh, that's nice. Oh. What did you have? Uh, I actually had uh, just chicken cutlets. 
Hell yeah. I ate just chicken cutlets. I love and, chicken uh, cuts. My mommy made me some banana bread, so I ate that. <laughs> nice. Chicken cutlets and banana bread. Yes. <laughs> that rules. She, my mommy forced me to eat a lot of chicken cutlets, too, so I had like six chicken thighs. That's where I got these wanders from. From my mom. Really? It's powerful. <laughs> yeah, she got me a big case Whoa. for Christmas. Oh, man. And I left them at her house. Yeah. And now they're here. Damn, dude. I know. Gifts in abundance. Are we doing personal pelly, personal pellies or like? No, we yeah, do you take it? We're, no, we're, we're going to share it. them one at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll each take sips. Yeah, it's I sip, sip, I didn't pass. Assume. We're going to pass one around till we all get herpes. Mm-hmm. I don't assume we're just popping bottles. Yeah, like we're popping bottles. Come on, man. What do you think this is? Yeah, dude, come on. Ian. It's good, right? So going back to your doctor, it's a real doctor? Yeah, legitimate doctor. And I... Because my, my doctor, it takes like forever to get appointments. Can and, you imagine uh, being Ian's doctor? Jesus Christ. I picture yeah, you going yeah. to a vet. He's like, Every, what else everything's did you find a in bit. your ass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doc, my back hurts from having gay <laughs> sex. I was getting fucked Doc, up. I'm feeling guy. a little wacky today. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. He's like, Ian, you're mentally He's like, Ian, seriously, please. Dude, Ian, shut the fuck up. What were you saying about your back? And you're like, it was from, I'm gay. And it's like. God damn it, dude. Well, dude, the funny thing is, at Skankfest, I was in so much pain, and Tim was intentionally making me laugh hard that I was doubling over in pain. And I have a hernia, and I'm pretty sure I have to get surgery. So when I laugh really hard, I'm in pain again. Damn. So that was awesome. That was the most balls in your ever corner, heard. dude. Yeah, no, you look like a fucking fucking gremlin hatching every time, like you were trying to <laughs> try not to it laugh. Was, I, it was fucking gnarly, and so I went and I saw an osteopath. I was in so much pain, dude. I had to get a cane. And I'm like hobbling around. I had help. Well, like, did you have a sword in your stuff. cane? No. But I, <laughs> I do have an eight ball cane, and I did try to get some sort of sword cane situation. Matt, like, Matt his I, actually had a dildo in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the bus. He's just sucking the Can end of it. Can you at least do like a Joker smash? <laughs> oh, dude. I, yo, I want to carry a cane around me with me. Where I felt so powerful. Uh, yeah. People were nicer to me. Yeah. People were like doing things for me. That's and what was everyone like, who was yes. looking at you was thinking. Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. As you were cross country old guy Retards. walking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I saw this osteopath and he's like, you know, where do you think the injury came from? Oh, I don't know. It just happened one day. He goes, same thing happened in the past three, six, 12 months. I'm like, no. Oh, yeah. I got hit by a car last year <laughs> on my bicycle. And he was like, interesting. Did you get and launched? So- Oh yeah, George, I got roll? fucked up. No, Dude. shoe stayed on because I lived. <laughs> yes, I would have been dead if a shoe That's came a off. Fatality. First thing I did when I got done bouncing off the street was look at my shoes. I was like, I'm alive. And uh, I That's separated. How you know you're in the afterlife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If your shoes are off, uh, you're about to talk to God. Yeah, yeah. No, you're just laying in a bed. Your toes are wiggling in your socks. You're like, well, I'm dead. Uh, I separated my sacrum, my sacrum from my pelvis. Oh man. And uh, Damn. yeah, like and a then. G.I. Joe? Yeah, yeah, dude. It just got ripped right off. Oh, your rubber bands. Are I had to have rubber my band rubber band was intact. My little rubber ball was there, but the leg was off. <laughs> was the guy who found you making you fuck other people that were equally yeah, as fucked up? Yo, I, honestly, I'm not even joking. I woke up and I was fucking a Barbie. I don't know what happened. It was wild, dude. Uh, yeah. So I, dude, thank God I had a helmet on, but. Have you guys ever gotten hit by a car, like, <laughs> fallen in public? Yeah. It's massively yeah. embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, dude. Public? No. Or, like, fallen yes, in definitely, public. Definitely. And you're injured, but you don't want to tell anyone, so you're like, I'm fine, I'm fine. So dude, all these guys came in public? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's embarrassing, though. Nah, you learn to live with it. <laughs> dude, you never helmeted in public? Yeah, I would rather die than wear yeah. like, The entire yeah. time Ian's riding with a helmet, he's like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have my butt plug sticking out of my shorts than wear a helmet. <laughs> well, that's how I attach myself to the bike. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, glad I'm glad it seat. saved your life, though. I'm glad it saved your life. Dude, it did. I, I wasn't wearing a helmet for a while, and I was like, nah, because a buddy of mine got hit, and I was like, all right, I'm going to start wearing my helmet and dude i just skipped like a rock on a lake Damn. when i got hit cool and uh these guys all came up to me it was kind of like a sketchy part of like my neighborhood and in my head i'm like i'm about to get robbed oh i hope <laughs> these guys don't <laughs> fuck me one yeah, at a yeah, time yeah that hey, would be fellas. the worst that's, that's good dude you see a guy fall off a bike and you're like nice i know right <laughs> let's get him fellas dude i swear to god <laughs> years ago in the village outside the village lantern there was this huge circle and these two guys were like squaring off and uh 
nothing was happening and someone yelled world star and out of nowhere a guy came up and sucker punched him in the head he hit the mailbox that was on the thing fell on the ground and everyone was like oh and another guy goes you got got and stole his shit and ran away i was like oh my god those are the spoils of war and so i was so worried that that was gonna happen you were worried about getting got yeah, I was afraid someone yelled "World Star" out of nowhere. <laughs> the car did. The driver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, dude, these these lecherous like five men are like lurching towards me. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get robbed. And the closer they got, they were like, "Are you okay? Oh my god, we need to help you." I so like, obviously oh, Asian. So friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were Samoan, and uh, they helped me up, and I was just like freaked out. I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. They performed then, emergency haka. <laughs> <laughs> they stop traffic they all line up i've been uh i've been hit by cars and like thrown and gotten up and been like i just tripped i, I didn't even i'm not you know what i mean I was yeah so like, embarrassed that, yeah damn. the worst was when the worst was and when you're in shock too so you don't realize what's going oh, on oh yeah you could run on a broken leg with the embarrassment oh, yeah. that comes with getting hit by yes. a car yeah and then you get home and you're like i don't have a nose yeah yeah, 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 <laughs> you know? yeah. Like, yeah i, I should have noticed some of these injuries yeah, yeah. sooner what kind of the, car hit you uh suv Ooh. Midside, like what are we talking? Uh, Escalade, like a Bronco. Oh, you got hit by a Bronco, dude! The and when Bronco? the doors open, the Bron- like the new Bronco, or the old Bronco, cla- a Simpson Bronco. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> was, OJ hit me, uh, dude! It, oh, like man. clouds Fuck. of weed smoke came out, and I was like, oh Christ! But like you know how to fall when you're on a bike. Yeah, yeah. You like instinctually know how to like oh, roll dude, with it. I've fallen off of a bike head first, rolled, and yes. ended up in a full stride. Yes. You know what I mean? With yes. No- yeah, yeah. I've fallen forward Go and over your carried shoulder. the bike with me and <laughs> thrown it like someone's throwing a soccer ball in bounds. Hell yeah! And been like, all right, but I got banged up. This guy was just too stoned in the Bronco for you to be able to pull it <laughs> dude, off. What, what did he say to you? Reeked of weed. What? What did he say when he got out? He was like, dude, you know, like my brother rides bikes. I want someone to help him, and they were like really kind. <laughs> And I was just like, I got to get out of here. And I like forced myself on the bike to go home. Damn. And then two days later, I was in a lot of pain. I was like, I got to And I went to the hospital. And uh, I didn't even out. check out my yeah. left side. I was worried about shit that happened on my right side. And that was when you found out you had a torn rubber band. Mm-hmm. That's fucked yeah. up. Damn. Rubber band got torn, dog. Man, But you're all better <laughs> now. The back is, yeah. yeah so you doing, for, how'd you fix your back? Went to an osteopath. Surgery? No. Psychic osteopath <laughs> and physical therapy nice yeah did you consider calling that guy up and getting him to hit you again to fix you well i wanted him to hit the other side so i yeah. even out <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened i was i didn't know that my left side was fucked up so i was compensating and like my right foot kind of juts out like this to like oh you're doing the electric the slide <laughs> yeah 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 Who everywhere i go it's cha-cha was sliding I uh, I sped up when he was making a right turn to like go by him, uh, but it's always the driver's fault if you're a pedestrian or gotcha. on a bike. You know gotcha, what I mean? Gotcha. I disagree. And but so yeah, he yeah, sped yeah, up much. and like <laughs> hit me, and I I I'd say I'd say maybe sixty percent of the time it's the bike person's fault. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like <laughs> legally, the, the uh, law right, is that right. it's always like we the should do something fault. about that. We should fix that. The I'd be up tilt, for that. They're tilted the wrong way. Dude. Bikers' yeah. rights. That would be nice Bullshit. to get, like, if like some guy got killed on a bike, to like go back and retroactively take the money away from his family, <laughs> and, like allocate it back to the guy who just owned like an SUV. <laughs> Yeah, and I can't Just to imagine his insurance company. Oh yeah, get reparations for drivers. Sure, yeah, drivers I, I, reparations. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot imagine somebody other than you making a funnier noise when getting hit by a car. <laughs> oh yeah, a <laughs> wall well, be cushion popped when I did it. It was a slide whistle with everything else. It was awesome. Damn, that stinks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks. Yeah. I've never tasted you. metal like that. No? Never got hit by a car. No. Never t- no? Same. I've never yeah. tasted yeah. metal. You've never gotten road rash? Nah. You've never gone sketching. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone sketching, but I've never I've never fell. I always just like maxed out like 50 MPH. Yeah. Matt, what's like the closest off? you've come to death? Uh like actually dying or like in a very deadly situation? Well, I'm gonna go with deadly situation. Uh, I got robbed at knife point in Brazil. So really, three How guys. How close was the knife to your? They were touching my belly. I had three knives. Really, oh, belly, wow. belly, belly. Whoa. Was it Wolverine or was it? Yeah, three like, different <laughs> <guys>? <laughs> Wolverine's trying three to jerk them off. <laughs> it was three fellows. Woo! 
I think this is also a scene from Disney's Hercules where a bunch of people <laughs> draw knives. Yeah, were one they dude. those big swooping knives? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> they were like rust they were like kitchen knives. They were like rusty like steak knives. Really? Probably probably sharpened to the end of the earth. <laughs> they're pretty they were, nasty looking. Yeah. They cut you in half. Yeah. They would have your rubber band. <laughs> I just, I played it cool, man. I, I, kept, I remember saying, tranquillo, tranquillo, tranquillo. That was yeah. the only phrase I remember. And then they uh, they took out my, they like went through my pockets and I kept being like, yeah, yeah, no big deal, no big deal. I was out of my body. Anytime oh. I've had like a really scary thing happen, I completely right. leave my body and I'm super calm. And then afterwards I get like really nervous. But of course. So they all, they're going through their stuff and then they're going through all my, my pockets and I had like eight reals, which is like equivalent to like, at the time it was like four bucks. And uh, they pull out the money and they're like, Duh. and I'm like, that's all I have, that's all I have. And then they busted out my phrase book and they're flipping through it. And I, I was like, they started laughing. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I, I opened, I was like, a kid over say, it means like, I want you. That was the only thing I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, a kid over say, and they started laughing. And they were just like, they went through. And then they, <laughs> I forgot I had a secret compartment in my in my thing. And they found I had like a thing hidden with like 10 extra bucks. And they're uh -huh. like, and I'm like, it's all, it's all yours, boys. It's all yeah. yours, thank you. That's all yours? Trying to get pussy? Yeah. Like, they they <laughs> busted out my fucking credit card and like, what's this? And I was like, come to the ATM. I'll give you guys even more money. Yeah. And they were like, they were like whatever, and threw that. And then they were like, we're very sorry. We're oh, hungry. man, that's Aww. like when an alien oh, robs a human. Yeah, apologize. Like, you ever seen a movie where like yeah. an alien's like robbing a human and you like find like a gold watch and like diamonds and like, <laughs> <laughs> and throw it away? <laughs> Take me to your leader, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I was literally like, Silicon's with a debit card. <laughs> I'll go to the ATM and I'll take more money. I was like, we'll get breakfast. And they were just like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get breakfast. Do you guys want to go hang glide? I invited them. <laughs> you care about say, crush. I was like, you care about say. They're like, uh, <laughs> Have you guys ever swam with dolphins? <laughs> Today's I your day. They were, boys, but they were just yeah, trying to get yeah, kiteboarding yeah. money anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was the uh, and I got robbed at gunpoint multiple times. But the times. knife, the knife scarier. point is the scariest. Yeah, that really. Was, that was easily. Yeah, dude, they're touching my belly. Where was yeah. it gone? Just people like holding it. The one guy was in a ski mask, was like this, like. Uh, was it, where was this? In an apartment. Damn. Matt, were any of the knives ticklish at all? I don't know. I don't recall. I don't recall them being ticklish. <laughs> He's giving his money and, and his giggling. And they hit me, and I was like. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Seriously, guys. Seriously, stop. <laughs> I'm ticklish. Oh my god, that's my spot, dude. But for yeah, real. but I, I've also like almost like crashed my car so many times. Just like like looked up at the last second, I was like, I was like, oh, oh I would have died. Yeah, like, no, I was like, oh, I would have died. God, that'd be so embarrassing. Yeah, I've I've evaded death multiple times. I feel like. Yeah. Was that the closest you came to death? No, I almost died in college. I had viral meningitis. Oh, Ooh, my God. yeah. Yeah, if I had waited, they said like a half hour, 45 minutes more, I would have died. I remember around that time, meningitis was like crushing college students. Yes, dude. yeah. Yes. Is that still happening or just I'm not paying attention? Mm, there there's couple, an underground there was a meningitis scene where now. Meningitis was, <laughs> 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 meningitis was taking people out. Oh, yeah. That was so mm -hmm. exciting. Dude, it was gnarly. What is meningitis? It, well, there's two. There's viral meningitis and bacterial meningitis. Bacterial meningitis, you get it, you're done in like 20 minutes. Damn. But this, the night before I felt like I got hit by a bunch of hammers. And then the next day, I like, it's throughout the day, I was getting worse and worse. And like, I couldn't open my eyes because it truly felt mm. like somebody was jackhammering my head. Ugh. And that was just my brain swelling. And uh, mm. I like got back to my dorm room and I knocked on the RA's door. I was like, can you come and... Like a half hour, I'm gonna lay down. I really feel like something bad is happening. <laughs> so if I don't answer the door, could you just come in and help me? And they did, and they took me to the hospital, and like they rushed me, blew past everyone, and uh, dude, I had to get a spinal tap. Ooh, and cool. they took me to like a university hospital. So it's a um, oh, actually, it's, I don't want to dis uh, disagree with you, but John Griff said you actually had many anus. <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's what they figured out once they got the cat scan. <laughs> there are all these men in my anus. anus. <laughs> I had viral men in anus. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bacterial men in anus is when they're on my back. Uh, I, I was waiting for him to finish the story so I could say that you had men in finance. Oh, so. I had that too. That's the thanks a lot, the, dickhead. The Latin term. <laughs> Way to go, John Grimm. Yeah. yeah, suck my dick, dude. Uh, so I had to get a spinal tap, and it was by like a university student you know they ah. like train doctors on people yeah. so that the, i'm like over this table they have like a nine inch cock and uh it's it's about to go on <laughs> like my spine i hear it to the left to the left to the left and i'm like oh my god uh, yeah. i got it and i just Whoa. puked everywhere Whoa. 
That'd it be cool if like you went to like a uh, medical school where they were like, uh, you know, how barbers are just constantly making Instagram videos of like the perfect like, you know haircut. what I mean? T- yeah, if they're just like trying to swag, drop that mm. in your spine real quick. I'm like, oh fuck, my bad, dude. <laughs> he actually went to Beyonce <laughs> Urgent Care. <laughs> <laughs> To the left, to the left. Mm. Thanks for explaining that one, Mike. <laughs> Beyonce, urgent care. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. The explanation was the best part. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Oh my god. Uh, wow. Dude, oh. That was fantastic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, shit. The fucked up part is that like he'll say something like that and he's already laughing. So you're like, whoa, dude, how fuck, how badly did I miss what you just said? And then he'll say the explanation. You're like, fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, that that fucked me up too because I was like, that has to be funny. I'm, I'm losing. I, it. I was in I was my like, head. I was calculating a pun. I was like, Beyonce <laughs> care. What? My brain did every single calculation. It was like, yeah, no, nah. it's good. It has to be, dude. All my jokes tonight are sh- are strictly for. 52 year old black women <laughs> Boy if you don't You know the Jaws theme song Was written by a black woman Mm-mm. Oh god damn it oh, man. God damn it dude In the past month I've seen a comic Do that on stage Really? Oh, you, yes. me- you men see it that? <laughs> I, yes Clearly I, 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 I thought I, I, it was really funny When you did it Now I'm finding out This is someone else's material <laughs> Dude, I gotta flip my hat around and Wait, expose you now. Did you really get hit by a car, or did you see that somebody else? <laughs> somebody else did that, and I I saw this dude with a cool back injury, and I was like, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh shit! Yeah. Someone in the chat said Mike stole Beyonce Urgent Care from Liz Russo. <gasps> God damn it! Oh no, I'm kidding, shit! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, she's the one who hit Ian with the car. <laughs> damn! Yeah, we're just joking about a lady who killed a guy at a DUI and then did stand up about it, no and then unfollowed Tim on Twitter. Not a big deal. Wait, <laughs> Why don't you know, worry about it. Happen? Dude, yeah. do you remember that? No, there was a Philly was open micer who killed someone in a DUI and then did like... She served her time. Stand up about it. Yeah. She paid her debt. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that's so crazy, man. Isn't that nuts? Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy where you're just like, so I used to have a drinking problem. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. You do, Murdered you do a guy. 15 whole minutes and then like... You're, you get curious about it. Like, I wonder if I could just look up if she actually had a DUI, and it's like, oh, a guy died. What it's, happens if two drunk people dr- crash and one of them it's dies? It's like sex, dude. The dude is always guilty. It's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they take the blood, and whoever had the higher percentage mm-hmm. is in trouble. Yeah. I've always wondered why. Uh, what happens when people in wheelchairs fuck? Whose insurance covers it? You know. True. What? When they fuck? <laughs> Wait, that's what? another one for fifty-two-year-old black women. <laughs> Wait, what the- why was there insurance ahead. companies have to cover it? Continue. <laughs> Get the answers you're looking for. <laughs> Don't let him sweep this why under would the rug. I thought you meant crash. <laughs> why would you involve HMOs if <laughs> wheelchair people fucking? Because there's inevitably going to be damages, Ian. Yeah, but aren't their spines already damaged? <laughs> yeah, but there could be like a yeah, like low like cosmetics. They probably I think they <laughs> you probably you think there's handlers that like hell that like just. Push the yeah, cheek. push the cheeks. Cheeks. Fuck like them, fucking. Yeah. What was that movie that we saw together? Midsummer. <laughs> Midsummer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or like when they soak Mormons and the friend jumps on the uh, bed. Yeah. It's uh, like yeah, it's, it doesn't pushing. count as fucking. Yeah, that's that the, would be pretty sick, right? To just have a handler just fuck a lady Make for you, you and just you? hold you yeah. and you're just like, like I'm gonna blow your fucking back out. Oh my yeah. god, oh, dude. dude. And then it's like you get your dates based on who your orderly is. Yeah. It's like he he pushes cheeks pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta <laughs> make sure looking at the guy in the chair just like how jacked is the guy yeah. that's gonna be pushing his cheeks into me later. He's long struck. <laughs> this guy's better moving the hips. <laughs> you gotta stay on your orderly to do his chest presses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's like what dude you, you better wear? be fucking working out. Kind of but gear? it's just a Nigerian yeah. woman doing it. That's good too. What kind of gear would you wear so they can get maximum grip? On you. If you were the wheelchair guy or yeah. the guy pushing the wheelchair? No, wheelchair guy. Oh, so <laughs> kind, kind of big sweats so you can bunch them up. <laughs> you go just sweats? Yeah. I'd probably put pine tar on my hips <laughs> so you could get a real grip on Actually, I let me take that back, Matt. I'm going to take dungarees <laughs> so you can put your fingers through the loops. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That's not bad. Mm. I'd, I'd wear an old smock. general's jacket. <laughs> smock would be good. Just pull it up. <laughs> An old general's jacket, be like I an would old special- army jacket. <laughs> Dude, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would specialize in help, <laughs> helping like progeria people fuck mm. because they're small enough. I could probably just do one in each hand and make them like yeah. action figures, like Ron, like fucking. <laughs> oh, 
You I can get, attach them to your chin and do jumping jacks, <laughs> or like get that. like in a get like an elliptical setup where you can just go like mm. and just launch them. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, I'm doing two couples at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I might pay someone to like just in case I get gassed to handle me, dude. Just fucking like push me home, dude. Like a corner man, in a take me home. <laughs> take me home. I need, <laughs> I need a relief, fucker. <laughs> Call him out of the bullpen and come put your cheeks <laughs> in your life. <laughs> Their theme song. <laughs> hey, Mick, not too fast or I'll pop. Not too fast. Slow down. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. So slow down the heat. Go to the change up. We got two innings left. <laughs> Yo, get me all the way in. Get me all the Throw way in. Throw curveball. Eat her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> drop a digit Dude Damn We gotta drop a digit in him Like do it Do it Use the four seam <laughs> Cutter What? No You know did you ever see that video of like um, Of like dads like um, Attaching themselves to, It's very fucked up To uh, kids who can't walk To give them the feeling of walking yeah, oh, yeah. Like you could probably do that too Oh my god <laughs> Attach yourself to a child. <laughs> Do you say child? Yeah. We're going retarded people. Yeah, we're you fucking drawing. retarded. Don't you take, don't take us to child. <laughs> yeah, dude. my call. You're fucking drawing, dude. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Or you could be like a high chair seat for a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ever think about uh, Beyonce's home for fucking children? Would that be called Destiny's Children? <laughs> no, it would be called Destiny's yeah, Children. <laughs> and just like that, he's back on top, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Goodness Man. Christ. Oh, yeah, so oh, Tim, I definitely think it would be called Busting These Children. Busting These Children. Busting yeah. These Children. <laughs> God damn. Do you think you can make, like, I Fuck Kids LLC and not get in trouble? <laughs> That's a great question. Wow. Well, can you yell that on an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck kids. I fuck kids. Are you wearing, I'm a mom. Yeah. You're wearing a mask. So no am I being, hold on. Am I being detained? <laughs> you instantly turn into like one of those like sovereign state guys. Sovereign state guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck children. Am I being detained? <laughs> They're gonna send an air molester next to you. <laughs> Dude, I, I want to start. I want to start selling teas that just say like non-active pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you would get props on the plane. Be like, yeah, I don't, I don't do that. It's all I think about. Dude, but the I pilot, don't will, come, pilot will come over the loudspeaker to let him know, and you got to clap for him. <laughs> One guy in first class gives up his seat to you. <laughs> they salute you as you go down the aisle. <laughs> God, you man. get first priority seating. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any uh, mili active military personnel or non-active pedophile? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> dude. Oh my I can't god! Get this picture with you. <laughs> Daddy, take my picture. There are oh, on up, boy. Oh, on up, son. You're dressed like a professional bowler because they all are. You know I mean? Oh my god! You're just like a fat guy with like a greased comb over, sitting oh. in first class. People are thanking you as they walk by. Is there anything worse? Oh man. Than what? Just being a pedophile and realizing you're a pedophile and being like, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, oh shit. It's the worst thing ever. Oh, shit. How's that feel, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, why don't you tell us? Oh, it's not as good since they closed down the island. <laughs> Well, oh, as the, as the uh, president and CEO of busting these children, Ian. <laughs> it could come up. Does it like naturally? Does it develop like at any time in your life, or like are people born that way? Pedos. Yeah. Could you like? Um, could I you imagine... develop it like a like a late food allergy? <laughs> like, yeah, I can't have. I got I got a kid's nut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> It's really more of a sensitivity, but uh, yeah. Like, I, wonder, I wonder if you're like gluten free, but it's Elmer's. Oh, that must be crazy, dude. Dude, is there is there anything you can't Early have? Onset pedophilia. I, I can't even sit in a cafeteria next to somebody who's had kids nut. Oh man. Oh, it's gotta be crazy. 
<laughs> just like fucking blow a kid and then just go it back into society and be like, <laughs> <laughs> no one can ever know about that. Dude. Doing That's the walk great. of shame back to your panel van. <laughs> <laughs> you confess to a priest. He slides the thing back. He goes, "Me too, brother." He just <laughs> puts a fist through it. He's like, three to pound it. <laughs> Say three. That's what's up. <laughs> your penance is to keep being awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad stuff. But yeah, it's not good. It's, you have to talk about it. You do have yeah. to talk about yep. it. Yep. We are yeah, contractually we aware. obligated to yeah. talk about it. Manscaped put it in their small print. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. Do it's they like sell? The, they're really product? small print. Do they sell <laughs> Boy, Lil, Boy Lil Clippers? <laughs> <laughs> We're also sponsored by Boyscaped. <laughs> <laughs> when that first view comes in, you want to go on Boyscaped. <laughs> Oh. It's that boy scape is actually a tweezers. <laughs> they should sell like Rogaine for pubes for little kids. <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. They give if I have a son, give, I'm getting him hair plugs in his pubic region when he's they, like six. They give get female to male trans kids Rogaine. <laughs> You're a little dude. Take it. <laughs> Go nuts. <laughs> Great wow. athletes, though, man. Huh? Female to males are the new Olympians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great athletes. Superior. I'm going to see them play Superior football. Superior genetics. So I'm waiting for it. Great. They're coming, I, man. They're, yeah, they'll be here. Mm-hmm. Sooner or later, they'll be here. Boys it's going to be skate. so wait, fun. Dude, in another two years, they're going to overtake kickers. <laughs> They'd be good kickers are already basically trans. Mm-hmm. True. <laughs> Kick, yeah. Kickers are equivalent to trans people as yeah. athletes. Every right, kicker looks like a... as football players. Boom. Whoa. Boom. Boom. Don't do it to him. I remember the kicker on our high school football team was so fucking mad about being the kicker everywhere. Oh, people just called him kicker everywhere he went. Really? And he was the maddest fucking dude. No, no, that's him. what you heard, but it was. T- <laughs> <laughs> Did he look like a kicker? Yeah, he had all of like the, you know, I'm a real athlete thing going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Poor guy. So mm. he's probably. Busting it down on roller skates in Atlanta as we speak. <laughs> yeah. So what else is up, guys? <laughs> no. We've covered a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did, man. We've yeah. covered a lot of stuff. Did we talk about child sponsors? Did we tell them about Boston yet? Well, oh yeah, how was it? That oh, it was the best, man. Oh was, yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. It was uh we we packed the place and we had three black guys, which is, you know, like a big million. for Boston. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty sick, dude. Here's uh, here's what we're finding everywhere we go is we're selling basically we're we're selling out places in individual tickets, so it's all just lone wolves Whoa. showing up, yes, and then sh- like everyone's hanging out and becoming boys. Yes, how, how tight is that? That's, that's healing the nation. I, uh, that's I healing mean, the nation, right? Yeah. There's no, there's no that's what people need. There's dude. There's no political compass. There's no like. You got to have this opinion to hang out. It's just you have to be retarded. It's perfect. And, and dudes are like, that's what's up. <laughs> oh, even I'll a lady, too. Yeah. There was uh, one of our female. There were some lady retards, too. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy how diverse retards are. Oh, yeah. Then it's only growing. Yeah, it's all across the spectrum. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, it's only growing. <laughs> It's pretty sick, dude. It's pretty amazing how like autists have increased like a thousand percent in the last. I, was, like, I would say years. more than autism is in the spectrum. All of being retarded is a spectrum. True that. You True know that. what I mean? We should put we should put like wheelchair, like mouth open and orderly, just spooning oatmeal into your face. Sure. That's on the same spectrum as like just a guy who is all about you know Pokemon speed running. True. Same hey, spectrum. I would. I would. I would. You got your that. your Honda Civic wheelchairs and you got your Fast and Furious wheelchairs. Mm. Is what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all have our wheelchairs. Is wheelchairs. that what we're calling mentally challenged people now? Yeah, we <laughs> all have wheelchairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call them when we're, you know. Paul non walkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's been a Paul day. walkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Perfect. Oh, fuck. oh boy! Oh fuck! Tim, That's look at up. those shoes, baby. You see oh, his yeah, shoes, my, dude? Check what? Out, check out my custom wigger kicks, dude. So Damn. our boy Sam Amon, 
Look up Sam Amon art. Oh, dude, he's great. He's I have art of his hanging Bro, in my apartment. He customized. First of all, check he's out. Fantastic. Check out the Mountain Dew and Percocets on this. Nice. That's pretty nice. Bro, the new cool ranch. Come yes. the fuck on, man. The Fubu. I see those cool ranches over there. I see the cool ranch. <laughs> she, I mean, come on. Anyway, he decked us out with all custom wigger kicks for the live wigger roast at Helium last he drew, week. He just like drew all that on a shoe. Yeah, he painted it on there. I got Psych Gnaw. Sick. On the on the toe over here. Sick. These are possibly, <laughs> nice. possibly the most powerful sneakers on the planet. They're right really now. nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those rule. Sam's awesome, dude. I can't Ian, believe he did this. He's after this program, I'm going to show you both. Yeah. Uh, Ian made me some cartoon porn. What? Uh, sometimes I'll just take it back here. I'll shut that door and I'll just talk to it. Wait, I did. It's that good. No, no Sam, Sam did. Oh, I thought you said. You said, yeah, you said when, when you got hit by the car, you were in a daze and you just started <laughs> making animated porn. <laughs> what? Oh no, shit. That's yeah, awesome. Buddy. Who's fucking? Um, Jessica Rabbit and who's the other lady oh, she's eating Jessica out? Your mom. God. <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, dude, that's it's a great point. I, I'm going to contact <laughs> Sam. Is it the shoes? <laughs> I'm going to have. I'm going to contact Sam and have him draw a picture of Roger Rabbit fucking my dad and just mail it to him without an explanation. <laughs> You would you leave them like flyers on cars Please. promoting an event. <laughs> dude, you could ruin like a 55 year old, 60 year old. My dad's life. heart would stop. <laughs> gay, gay cartoon, <laughs> gay cartoon <laughs> porn. Oh, Sam and the old dudes oh. would crush him. Like, the that fuck? would be a sick Patreon for Sam to do. Yeah. If you just like sign up for five bucks like, a month and you get yeah. like, a current photo of your dad, and every month he mails your dad a different <laughs> cartoon character fucking him. And, Shoving his dick in his mouth and something. My dad would call the FBI. Dude. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, here's Peter Griffin fucking my face. Where is this? But, from? but the description has to be letters cut out like a ransom note. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's standing 69ing with Homer Simpson. <laughs> Oh my Peter god. Peter is jacking off. Oh, and then he has He's to He's jacking off to Ryan. <laughs> He's you, asking you for help figuring out who's doing it. Do you think if he saw that, he would consider himself a dope homosexual? A what? <laughs> a <Dope>. Homer Simpson, dude. <laughs> yeah, why not a Homer? Why not a Homer sexual, dude? Dope. Dope homosexual. homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, dude. No, you could do. You could film, like, you secretly film in your parents' house, just, like, you know, just hit them, and then save those things up and then email them to them from, like, an alternate account and be like, I have your house bugged. Ooh. And convince your parents that their fucking house is bugged Ooh. from some dude in, like, Dagestan. Mm. Matt, he got hit with that before. What is what? it called? Ransomware? Oh, yeah. Where there was, like, a th he had called me to come over, and I had no idea what this was, but it was, like, a countdown on there, and it says, unless you pay this amount... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna release like all the uh, fucking uh, secret files you have on here. It was Y two J basically. Oh <laughs> no! <getting> down. <laughs> yeah, so they got his ass. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. He paid them? No, uh, oh, I gave it to a friend of ours to to Deep fix. Bug? Yeah. yeah. So what happened? It just he went fine. away. Yeah. yeah. Well, they were just practicing on guys like that. Then they started hitting big businesses, and that's why like airports were going down last year. <laughs> mm. Ransomware is cool. Yeah, they were going after the dope homosexuals first. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Isn't dope, homosexual, insane? You can mail any. Yeah, you can mail porn to anyone, pretty much. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got to be careful. Well, would you mail to your enemies or friends first? I test it with a friend just to be like, did you get it? Because <laughs> if you, yeah, you can write any name you want and just drop it on with a stamp. Mm -hmm. People get it and be like, what the fuck? That's actually terrifying. You're like what, to cut, receive. Like a, randomized pornography at your just house? Like a, yeah, or like a hyper crumpled. specific. You're in it. Yeah, like a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, you're yeah. watercolored into it. Or even just like a um, like a crumpled up thing out of a magazine. Just smooth it out and then mail it to somebody. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's fucked up. That's really scary. Or put it in a nice table with epoxy on top. Oh, like mm. they're getting a nice gift, like oh a wooden God. gift with epoxy child cartoon pornography. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Child. <laughs> That's a new detail. <laughs> that I don't think oh, we're what? You get in trouble for that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, That's we're it. talking That's about mailing child porn to our friends as a group, I think right? it's a misdemeanor to make someone view porn against their wishes. That's a Is misdemeanor offense, oh, no. yeah. If you're if you if you make somebody if you like send somebody porn, you, I think you can actually get in trouble for that. I wonder if the legality changes if it's like Bart Simpson versus Chris Griffin. <laughs> Because of the age, right? It's probably just house. No, arrest. because it's animated. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, it's just community service. <laughs> You're like, I didn't know. I didn't know. But yeah, so 
just curious, something I'm curious about. Set in porn. What else is up with you guys, dude? <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah. My uh, God. Dude, I read a cool book today. Apparently, uh, mm-hmm. I learned that the United States is not at all in danger of losing our position of the world superpower anytime oh, soon within the next hundred years. So That's a relief. Yeah, I was pretty wow. relieved when I read it. And it makes perfect sense. What book was this? Mm-hmm. It's called The Next Hundred Years. I like that. Just get, the guy predicts like because that's exactly when I'm worried about losing that power. Yeah, in about a hundred. He said in a hundred years, and I haven't got into the thick of it, but he's predicting the pop. America is just going to be like so far on top. China is going to collapse. Russia will collapse again. How it, it's already kind of has. It just doesn't have like nobody has the infrastructure to actually challenge America in a realistic way. All America doesn't even have to fight anyone. All it has to do is just disrupt people's stuff. So if like a coalition starts to form, America can be like, all right, you guys are forming up against me. Well, this guy, I'll give you, you know, I'll cut you guys all off from the global trade network mm-hmm. and just be like, you guys will all be fucked. They control the seas. Like literally everywhere in the seas are controlled. They're, by they're running the cool table. In the they, they, they control all of the seas in all of the world. So they can just be like, yeah, we're going to put a blockade Man, what on. What a relief this is to hear. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like it's the most ridiculous military money monopoly and it's like it's pretty unassailable for the moment would you would you no, answer the it? call if we if if they did have to kick into action and it was like we need basically a hundred thousand mark Wahlbergs? would you answer the call i mean yeah if but i'd be fly, i'd be flying drones it's going to be it'll just be people with drones that's specifically like, why i'm getting good at rocket league because like, oh, when yeah. they're like every able-bodied man get in the fucking truck i'm gonna be like you guys can i show you my highlight reel real, 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 real <laughs> quick dude that'll be your second i got dude. my own headset yeah can you can you get me an xbox controller and send me to the baltics or whatever <laughs> you, tim, when that day comes do you think it'd be fair to call that day tim dependence day <laughs> love it yeah man <laughs> yeah sure call it that matt when you got robbed by those three Brazilians, did, was there any part of you that considered going to the american uh consulate and seeing if they could seek revenge for you. I thought you were going to be like the American M. Bussy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he do that shit to your brain, man? Yeah. yeah Eventually, you're, yeah. Not even, you're not even thinking in yeah. thoughts yeah. anymore. Predictive you know I mean? rainy yeah. text? Dude, you're playing checkers. I'm playing Connect Four, baby. <laughs> so I'll go fish up here, man. Fuck. Wait, that I thought, I thought that it was the complete opposite. Of that, that America. That's what they fucked. want you to think. Not at all. And that China is going to take over. Not at all. They, not what fair. they were saying, what happens with China, is their the coastal areas get a lot of money, but there's a huge swath of the mainland that just is poor all the time, and they right. they start to kind of get China's going to have a peasant unrest. uprising. Yeah, they they get peasant uprisings. They've been having them. They're going to have the big one. I think. Like, like the early AD, like. The year like 400 they've been having non-stop peasant uprisings mm-hmm. so like the the like mainland like the inland areas away from the coast just stay poor as hell and they eventually just revolt and then yeah dude, like the ghost of shushima bro they're they're the reclaiming areas. cooking oil from like sewers mm-hmm. that's how broke they are and all america has to do is be like all right fuck chinese products hey does anyone else want to make billions and trillions of dollars and we can just build factories in any other country so why don't we do that I think we were using China as someone to offset Russia for a while when Russia mm. started coming back. But as soon as we don't need them, we'll just discard wow, them get the Middle East. You're so good at geopolitics. Mm-hmm. Dude, now mm-hmm. I am. I read like half that book today. And I'm like, <laughs> I know everything. I know everything. But here's 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 what the guy's predicting in 2100. Pretty sick prediction. We're, so the population's going to drop off big time. We're going to start competing for immigrants to come to like the superpowers at the time. He's saying Poland's going to be a big superpower. Turkey. He's claiming Bro, they have screen doors on their submarines. Poland's not doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's claiming Poland. It's Poland, Turkey. Fuck Poland. U.S. And what he was saying. So, so he's saying it's on site with Poland, basically. It's on site. No, no, no. Who's, it's not the, who's the biggest competitor is what Mexico I want to know. Mexico in 2100. Yeah. He's calling Mexico. Viva la because we're, we're going to be like, all the countries are going to be competing for immigrants. And Mexico is going to basically reclaim like Texas, California. And it, it, he was saying the Mexican government's going to step up and be like, let's fucking roll. Whoa, I'm going to get in with them now. We I'm can. Gonna get, I'm gonna get on the ground floor Just with get a serving government. job. You'll be in with them. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a job at the same place as my wife and travel on a BMX with pegs. <laughs> We're both wearing aprons. <laughs> Yeah, that's the guy's prediction. Tranquilo. You'll be the king of this. Tranquilo. 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 That's the white flag, dude. Tranquilo. Timmy C. 
<laughs> I was essentially being like, chill, chill, <laughs> chill, yeah, 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 yeah. chill. Love you, Leo Tango. Mazana. Oh yes. Uh, Matt, has that affected the way you travel now? Like, do you put cooler phrases in there now in case that happens again? No, it was just tranquilo worked, bro. It's all I needed. Tranquilo and chill, 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 basically. Chill, chill, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. chill, chill, chill. chill. Chill, but apparently uh, Portuguese and Spanish weren't as similar as I thought they were. No, I got out, I got to Brazil and was like speaking shitty Spanish to people, and they were just like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, Fuck. yeah." The, Fuck. Big, the biggest similarities with the chicks Way are different. like equally as hot. Yeah, what do you say? The biggest similarities with the chicks were like equally as hot, dude. It's Brazilian, not too much language. Brazilian chicks, mm -hmm. oh my god. Yeah. Madone, dude. That's where yeah, they got yeah. the bucket it was, from. It was crazy. Like in like Portuguese is I think I think Portuguese is like if Latin was only spoken by like Union Carpenters. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, they always it's like a retarded Latin. It's like French mixed with Spanish kind of. Mm. That's kinda that's what it sounds like. It sounds like somebody screaming at you with a stuffy nose when somebody speaks Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hmm. And which which one Shout is out the Google one with Foods the list? On YouTube. Huh? That's comes from French? Spain, right? No, the oh the yeah, the list. List. that's list Fosotro. Spain. That's that right. bitch ass Fosotro yeah. Spanish. I used, to, I used to Viva La Revolution in Spanish class, and they'd be like, the Spanish say Fosotro, so I'd always be like, Nunca. <laughs> <laughs> Nunca. I'll never address. I, was, I hated my Spanish overlords. <laughs> I was fully Mexican in Spanish class. Yeah. That I've never fucked with that Fosotro stuff, dude. Ustedes, I'd, I, Ustedes. I would if I saw my elders, I'd hit them with Ustedes, but never <laughs> got so. <laughs> yeah, you never use a two form. Come on, dude, you hitting yeah. Mexicans with Ustedes is respect, though, dude. Yeah, mm. is, that, is that considered an honorific? That yeah, that's kind of like if like someone of like a position of respect or like an abuelo, you hit like Usted. I think that's more of a seniorific. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Senior. <laughs> ustedes, dude. Hey, tranquilo. <laughs> <laughs> So you got to pick a side now. You got to pony up your future generations. Are you going to be lad or are you going to be USA Empire? Mm. They're also saying the USA Empire is only 200 years old. We're right. still yeah. just we're, getting started. Dude. We're this just is... coming out of a barbaric phase. We're, we're heading to like American civilization. Yeah. We've never seen it yet. Oh, yeah. I thought we were heading down. No, no that's just on, that fucking yeah, we're just communist propaganda, hammies, dude. Hmm? We're just warming up these hammies, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's communist propaganda. We're about, mm. to, we're about to take it to the next level. We have more farmable land than any other country in the world. And we have our country's less populated too than all the other. We're, they're for the most part like the average population density of like a lot of the other countries is like say it's like three hundred people per whatever. We're at like thirty four. We haven't even begun mile. to overpopulate our land. We're not even close, bro. We're not even close. We have so much. God, America's land. the best. It's. I was reading this book. I'm like, oh, we're, it, dude, America's back, baby. It's literally it, no. It's literally the best. It's in a position yeah. where it can tr it control the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. Simultaneously, it's crazy. Yeah. It's the perfect country. Now Dude, I, know, I love it. Back to blue. I Let's know virtually go. nothing about geopolitical superpowers, but what I'd like to ask each of you, because I consider each of you smarter than I am, how close is China to going PP in our coat? <laughs> <laughs> They've tried. <laughs> <laughs> or will it be Chinese peasants doing? <laughs> Actually, he's saying in a, in a hundred years we're going to be begging immigrants from other companies to put PP in our coke. China's uh, not going to be around. Oh, uh, what ultra. if they put PP in the Mexican? Coke that had cocaine in it, then that's just, that's that's probably what launches Mexico into a great superpower. It's That'd PP be their 9 11 the in right. the Harios. I'm, I'm following, <laughs> yeah. PP in the cane cola, yeah, dude. They'll be out, all the sexy Mexican elites will be having like a passionate night out, mm. dude. Hot we night. should all learn go to Spanish, Actually, not check, Chinese. Check this out, oh, Chinese. Don't waste your time with that stuff. Mexico is being killed by soda right now, by the way. I know that's the path to greatness, though. South America, <laughs> South America is being. By the sugar by cane? soda. Oh, kill me with soda. Baby. They're just drinking soda because <laughs> I, you know Nestle's buying like like every water source in the world. Yeah, yeah that's why they did the whole like rope a dope with the M um, and M's. So oh, everyone would sure. talk about okay. that instead of the yeah. Fact what was that all Nestle that? Nestle is murdering. I think and they made the green M M&M and M slightly less sexual. Does and it still make you horny if you eat it? You can't stop me. From that was horny. true. That was true. Nothing will ever stop. Yes, me. green M and M's. Always make you want to come. I, dude, every time I eat it, every green M&M &M that goes in my mouth, I picture two little boobs on it, and I go, mm, cool. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just suck tits again. Mm, mm, mummy. <laughs> I, I do remember, like, eating M&Ms with my boys before, like, like parties. These make you horny, And being like, dude, dude yeah. let me get them. Yeah. I need get to be that, horny like as that hell. MDMA. <laughs> yes, if I wasn't M &M horny DNA. enough. Get that red M&M out of here, dude. He's a dickhead. So, yeah. yeah, which one shrinks your nuts? The yellow one? Was it yellow five oh, shrinks yellow your balls? Yellow five, yeah. Yellow <laughs> yeah. shrinks your balls. Yellow shrinks your balls. Yeah, that's right. 
That is sick. Red 40 is what makes you crazy, right? Red 40 makes you loco as hell, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yellow 5 shrinks your balls. Green M&M's. Makes you horny. Dude, anyway, so South America's got... They're drinking soda because it's... A bottle of Coke is, like, cheaper than safe drinking water. Or what? Something like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, uh, they're going to die. Everyone's going to die from drinking soda. So Are they going to get fat or are they just going to die? Combination of both. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, their teeth, teeth are falling out. Toothaches no and heartaches go hand in hand at this point. <laughs> True. Yeah, that'd I'm be, having a hard time deciphering reality in this part of the room. <laughs> I don't know what is the, uh, the fact. <laughs> what is no, it's true. Like pun. <laughs> that I'm no, not Mexico getting. is getting annihilated by soda death because yeah. uh-huh. they can't drink anything else. Mm. Which I don't know. That sounds like a a lie a fat eight year old would tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very fair point. I can't drink water, Mom. <laughs> you heard the doctor. <laughs> yeah, man. That'll Nuh-uh. suck. What if that is the thing that finally takes down the cartels? Is that the dude, uh, is that soda. The, is that the ultimate childhood though? You're just well, like yes. playing soccer on a dirt road all day and it's like get in here and get a drink. And it's you soda. Ha- it's, Soda yeah. again. Yeah. You're like, no fucking way. <laughs> yeah. I'll take away your milk crate shoes yeah. if you dude, don't drink dude, soda. I'm telling you, if day in a row, only soda. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Look, in, the, yeah. look, yeah. look in those hoagie sized caskets. You're going to see little brown children with ear to ear smiles on their dead faces. <laughs> Toothless smiles. <laughs> Toothless child smiles. No, those would be portly. Those would be portly fellows. Yeah, <laughs> man. And none of them will have feet. No. <laughs> Carbonated bones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Mexico surpassed us as the fattest country in the world. I think briefly. Uh, I think we might have. We took it back. No, we I took think. it back. We took Definitely. it back. Yeah, we yeah. took it back. Got to hold that down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was tight that we did over COVID. Like the whole country just gained like thirty pounds. Mm-hmm. It was like a, a flex. Just as yeah, a response, oh, yeah. just be like, I don't yeah. know what to do right now. One of us, fat one, as hell. one of us should go to Mexico to find out what state they're in now because I have a feeling. Oh, a low reconnaissance mission. Yeah. They might be fatter than us again. No way. Did you see those gay guys that got chased out of Mexico by the cartel? Yes. <laughs> what? I'm not going to Mexico. Yeah, these two gay guys were like vlogging on a road in Mexico and a car speeds up behind them and like cuts them off and it's cartel dudes and they think that they're they think that they're about to kill rivals and it was just two gay guys like, so, we're so sorry. <laughs> and then the cartel we're chased out. The car complete realizes, opposite of Matt getting shaken down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the cartel dudes realize that it's just gay vloggers, and they're just like tranquillo, tranquillo. Yeah, <laughs> they had to calm these gay, these hysterical gay dudes down. They but, made them prove that they were just gay men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just real quick, suck them off. And, <laughs> yeah, blow each other. Just real, just quick. real quick. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I just proof. Just some proof. <laughs> my boss is going to ask me, so just suck yeah. them off. Yeah. Real quick, I'll let you guys go. It's with three knives in his belly. He's like, honey, if you want me to do anything with that thing, you better put it through a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the cartel put up on gay guys? Yeah, dude, it was it was, it was a sad scene. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like they're like hysterical and can't breathe, and the cartel's like, "It's okay, <laughs> sorry, we're gonna let this you go." Uh, 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 you saw a uh, cast of Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, so that must be crazy. Queen. Well, there's no gay guys in Mexico, so it must have been crazy for them to see. Oh my god, literally zero gay guys in Mexico. No way. Uh, open no not at all <laughs> there's definitely gay men in mexico not at all well then no, there's only gay guys to New York. there's only gay guys in america and europe there's in other parts of the world there's no gay people they're Middle gay East. people they just can't be no way about. there's not a single one no way that's matt. an american that's an american european thing matt no is that way. the it's only like country gal. where that is <laughs> <laughs> it's an aff- it's, it's, a, gal? it's an ad- condition of affluence yeah <laughs> Matt, is Mexico the only country where they don't have homosexuals? Africa don't ha- doesn't have them at all. Uh, yeah, because the they get East. slaughtered if they <laughs> are. You know what? Like, like, it's fucking yeah, set They get a sacrifice. Ian, think about it. Have you ever seen a man in Africa walking with a laundry basket on his head? <laughs> true, true. Oh, shit. No, they'll get tire fired for sure. Yeah. You'll get like rolled down the hill. And, like, they'll get necklaced. You'll get necklaced, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. What about India? Any gay guys in India? Yeah. Really? Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Ooh, uh, a devil's advocate here. Uh, aren't zebras gay horses? There's a lot of those in Africa. True. <laughs> the sarin get in my ass. <laughs> Every zebra, when he's getting chased, it looks like he's going, Stop! <laughs> that is a fact. 
<laughs> like no, you said, that is a fag. I was like, yeah, fag. Uh, we don't use those words. <laughs> what about, um, <laughs> no, that's, what about the Emirates? What about the United Arab Emirates? Any gay guys there? Mm. Was this in your book? Well, uh, they didn't get to that yet. Yeah. 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 Pretty much just New York, LA. Here's a list of gay Saudi princes, no. and it's just <laughs> No, Tim, but there are a lot of Dubai sexuals. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there's gay guys across the world, dude. It's just fun. Worldwide. <laughs> it's a worldwide phenomenon. It's a, we gay worldwide. <laughs> the funny thing they talked about is when uh so when when uh, the Russia when Russia fell in like the eighties or whatever when like the Soviet Union collapsed, there was that whole area of like, you know, like of like the um, Eastern Europe that slowly becomes the Middle East. Yeah, like that strip of like where there could be where are from. people slowly stop being white, just like yeah. one country at a time, <laughs> just like mm. goes over. That totally fell into disarray. As soon as uh, Russia fell, they all started fighting. There'd be like dudes in like. One neighborhood would like claim, be like, "We're Babylonians. We sh we should be running shit." It was all like ancient civilization started fighting each other. That's, That's all that awesome. is over there. It's just like the Fagarians, the Macedonians. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Pretty sick. They keep making the world's greatest MMA fighters over there. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're doing like constant battle. Yeah, there's no catching up to that. Matt, do you think a way that we could possibly curb illegal immigration <laughs> from Mexico into the United States? <laughs> It's for every one of those that comes into the United States, we drop a gay guy off over there to like introduce a tag it in, there. Tag out yeah. System. yeah, I mean, we could do that. But they wouldn't. Send they us would, your like, poor, your tired, your cum thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the club at 1 a.m. You're waiting for people to leave before you, like, we've got a velvet rope. We're just <laughs> shoving yeah. one gay guy out at a time to yeah. let a new valuable immigrant into the country. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. I think we John... <laughs> <laughs> They would take over. <laughs> they would take over Mexico. Oh man, I would love to see it. That would be pretty tight, actually. <laughs> Just gay lords of Mexico. Gay cartels. Gay cartels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so good. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. You have to ask George Friedman, author of the next one hundred years. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pumped on. I mean, I hope we don't fight Mexico, dude. That'd be a bloody battle. I would hate that. That'd be a bloody battle, dude. Have to fight them. I've loved every Mexican I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I went there exclusively to eat pussy once. Really? Yeah. Some pussy you knew or just find a random no, pussy? No, I happened to come across. Uh, I, I happened to come across. <laughs> <laughs> it was rolling in the street. No, when I was in the military, I went there to pick up a prostitute, and uh, I secured the services of a lady, and I ate pussy in a hotel. Yes. Nice. I love that. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. There's something wholesome about doing that in uniform. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, for sure, dude. Absolutely. And yeah. being a giver. Yeah. Of eating pussy. Well, you know me. You know I'm. I enjoy being generous and yeah. selfless. And did you mm -hmm. just eat pussy and stop? No. Whole yeah. enchilada, baby. That would have. <laughs> that would have been swag, dude. I've done uh, that. I've got no paid to just eat pussy. Pussy, yeah. pussy and then <laughs> bounced. <laughs> Peace move. Woo. You just had a hankering. Yeah. <laughs> a little midday snack. Yeah. Matt, I, I did take a nap did you next box to the lady. Up the day, you? <laughs> did you? Did you Can really? A doggy yeah. bag. For That's the actually really nice. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, you took a siesta? Yeah, I did. With yeah, her? Nice. Yeah. That's so nice. It was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'd pay just to do that. <laughs> pay her? Yeah. take a nap with her? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? I would do that. Yeah. Did you ever hear about that? You're like, oh, that guy would like, he's like a businessman who just gets like hookers to sleep and like rub his back. It's oh, like, God, I used yes. to be like, what a loser. Now I'm like, yeah, that'd be fun. I can see that. Mm. Yeah. Get a back rub. And just be like, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Although that, I think that probably falls under what they consider the girlfriend experience now. Yes. True. But the real girlfriend experience is her like talking nonstop while you watch YouTube. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Yeah, for real. They should do that. <laughs> should. Dude, I got in, a, I got in like one of those yeah. like pointless hey, could debates. you do me a favor? Could you come over and I'm going to pour myself a bowl of cereal and the second I put it on the table, could you ask me to do something for you? <laughs> <laughs> can you immediately yeah, come over I, and immediately start talking when we put the movie yeah, on? As soon as you take a dick out, um, do you think we should rearrange the DVDs? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even use them anymore, but I think they should go in order. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I, I, it wasn't even an argument. I got in a debate on the way on the way home. I had to drop uh, my babe off, and she she had fucking like was laying there like, oh my stomach hurts after she ate. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I guess you had indigestion. So I didn't have indigestion. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I just ate too much. 
<laughs> I'm like, you had fucking indigestion. She's like, I was like, you said you were nauseous. She's like, yeah, because I ate too much. I'm like, that's indigestion. She's like, no, I know what indigestion is. I just ate too much. Yeah. Well, and it's just like, I'll catch myself explain, and I just go, you know what? Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, give this to your chick. Ooh, what is that? Tums. Ah. Uh, nice. Help man. her out. You got she it. has Tums. She yeah. has Tums, dude. I need something for I her take these lady back. brain. You be careful. Those might be cums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got Tums in the other pocket. These are cums. <laughs> but I just, I gave, I gave up on those kind. I would like sit there and be like, no, actually you hit by that. Now I just go, oh yeah, you're right. You just ate too much. You're fine. That's fucking, I hate that. That's how Brazilian uh, robbers should argue. <laughs> the one, no. the guys that you've dealt with seem way too easy. Like if, if. Brazilians took If you on. got the, the GFE from Brazilian robbers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. No, just I'm not robbing you. I'm holding you up at knife point. <laughs> oh. That's robbing me. No, it's no, not. Um, I'm actually, threatening you with a knife, yeah. and I'm demanding it's money from you. It's just funny yeah, you're how you me. think. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're holding wow. me at knife point. I am not a retard. <laughs> yeah. No, nothing's wrong. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> How yeah. is that robbing you? <laughs> you're walking. Yeah. You're, you're walking alone. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine yelling at your robber. Don't fucking roll your eyes at me, you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you're just walking in an alley alone. They're like, "Why are you going this way?" And you're like, "Oh fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! Here, take it." <laughs> I can I can take you to the ATM, get you more money. Do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Do whatever you want. It's no, like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want. Means you know what? You already made the wrong decision. I yeah. know. There's no coming back. What, what did I do to make you rob me? And the robber just won't say anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to take my money? Give it to whoever you want. I'm going to get my own dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I only have $5. I'm going to just sleep at my mom's it's tonight. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. I know, I'm telling you, I think what happens is that they just attack you, and then like I think every... Like four and a half minutes, their brains just get completely wiped. Mm -hmm. She'll be in the middle of an argument. Those like they'll be uh, like, yeah. "I was actually going to say something, but now I, for, I, I just, I'm not going to say it now." It's like, no, I'm pretty sure you had zero point to make. The, uh, I did, but then the the bus came in four and a half minutes, picked up my brain, and left. <laughs> well, if you would let me talk, I would have actually explained myself. Would say it. I'm not going to say it, it now. It's like you don't, you didn't have a single fucking thing. Don't forget it. I know you didn't have a thing. Oh. Dude, I actually learned something about women from you a long time ago. I forget. I don't remember if it was on your podcast or if we were talking about it, but you were talking about like just the terrible TV shows that Britney oh, watches. Oh God, dude! And how much like it's called hot people in mortal danger. That's their whole. That's the whole thing. Those, mm -hmm. those are two categories usually. <laughs> Sometimes they're the same category. Yeah, true. But you were you were talking about how like you know, I think this was a phone call actually, but we were talking about how like how many times you had like a problem in your relationship. And then if you actually did take a minute, you could find something that you were doing like habitually that actually brought the thing on. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. And I think one thing that we were both doing was just being endlessly dickheads about the <laughs> awful TV constantly. <laughs> and it's just like, dude, their brains are different. Let I them know. have that. I Single know. greatest piece of relationship advice I've ever heard. Yeah. Just that's what they want. Let them have it. Don't yeah, like. Dude. I used to get so jacked up about how bad the television that was going on in my house. <laughs> oh, you, you come face to face with Riverdale. It's hard not to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to say something. You see it, and you're just kind of like, oh <laughs> fuck. Do you know how many seasons of Love Island UK in Australia there are? Oh God. <laughs> but it's like, dude, she she likes that. And they start repeating the fuck. You're like, didn't you see this? Like, yeah, I've seen it like four times. And you're like. I go yeah. to the basement. I was like, Aah! but at the studio, at the same time, if we got a hold of their group chats, it's just like, yeah, he's seventy hours into the game. I cannot believe true, there's true. anything left for him to do in it. True, true. They're going through the same exact thing in the other direction. True. And so you got, I don't know. Yeah, you can't bust on the. You got to be like, what's this? And you just get into it. Ian, what's the one thing that your babe probably whines about you in the group chat about? Mm. Oh, I get really like into documentaries and I watch them mm. over and over after I've already seen it because I really like it. Do you have a favorite one? Recently, it's been Sons of Sam. Mm. And I like went to just serial killers riding dogs. Yes. Like the like uh, they turn into the ones from Ghostbusters, like the the Gozer, the terror dogs. They so Sons of Sam. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's based on this book by Maury Terry, uh, 
called the ultimate evil about how there was more than one mm-hmm. son of Sam shooter. We like watch it. She didn't really care. And I watched it again. And then I remember just like sitting, she was sitting in the couch. We were about to go to bed and I was like, and another thing and another thing. And she goes, uh huh. You can brush your teeth or what? I was like, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I just got sunned so hard. Oh man. Yeah. How about you? Uh, probably that I'm too big of a faggot. <laughs> well put. Yeah. I don't know, just a shot in the dark. Yeah. I get relief. <laughs> well, probably that I make too much money and I'm too sexually generous. I don't know. <laughs> my cock gets it just right. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. What do you I, guys think that his wife complains about him? I can't think, man. I can't think of anything. I can't find one fault. I'm with them, dude. Ah, oh, you're sweet, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it stinks when they find something good in there. All right, what if I cover my ears and you guys let it rip? I can't. I can't. Only, I'm genuinely, fans, I genuinely I can't expenses, think of a thing. Only, dude, the OnlyFans expenses has to be driving her crazy. Come on, No man. way. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I cut back. <laughs> I lied. I wasn't having the emotes. How do you? Yeah. How do you pitch that? You're just like guy stuff, or is it kind of like? Yeah. yeah. It, Matt, essentially, that's what it's in in the budget. It's just guy the, stuff. Part of the pie chart is just guy stuff. <laughs> in my in in my case, it's a hair pie chart, Tim. What? But here's the deal. A hair pie. I <laughs> yes, a hair pie. But like also, listen. I set my own parameters, and once I get up to fifty bucks a month, I realized it was time to cut it off. Uh huh. Fifty bucks on one account or fifty bucks uh, on just multiple? total. I probably had maybe eight ladies going at one time. That's <laughs> not bad. Yeah, I don't Were think you so either. Interacting with them, not at just all. watching. I never. That that's the line I'm not willing to cross. Know. No, that's the line I'm not willing to cross. It's like, okay, I'll check out the content, but I'll never be somebody that that messages ladies or says good morning, beautiful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No, I try to differentiate myself. I say good afternoon. Because I know nobody's doing that shit. True. He nags them. Yeah. Afternoon, ugly. <laughs> Here's another dollar fifty pig. <laughs> Why am I getting a refund? Yeah, that's the only thing that stops me from doing that is the fact that I share a credit card. With my, I, I can't be mm-hmm. like, what's, I can't have that conversation. Like, what's this? Be like... There's somebody I'm really a fan of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really like their work. I like I to support yeah. independent artists. True. That is part of it. And I've tried to explain that to Tim before, but I think it's a hard sell. What? Playing mental gymnastics? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm Larry Nasher. <laughs> I respect that as being like, this is part of my expenses. This is my operating expenses. I, I, I stay jerking, Matt. Like that's the thing. Like, I, I, does love. she know when you're jerking off, or do you have to lie? And no, like, no, no, no. She's very cool. <laughs> is it case on support. Air light. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a fat lady in a booth like telling Jamie to wait at the door. One second. <laughs> and you're clear. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> now th- this is this is how nice of a lady He's she is. Frazier. <laughs> He's got Roz or whatever in the fucking booth. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mike, thirst time, long time. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you had any cum in those balls for me. Thanks, I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> Mike, how come I keep hearing Howard Stern's penis from your room? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Great, you just reherniated oh, Ian's disc. Yes. Way to go, dickhead. Oh. <laughs> no, here's how nice of a lady my wife is. She knew I had a boner in my sweatpants when she was getting ready for work. She was in a rush, and she knew I was about to jerk off yesterday, so she kissed me goodbye and said, do you want me to shut the door for you? <gasps> Very sweet. That's nice. That's yeah. all. That's you want me to slam the door on your boner for you? <laughs> 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 Thanks, hon. That's really That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, Every I pot, still hide yeah. it like a like a seventh grader. <laughs> she, what you, I'm like, I'll take like a long shower. I'm like, I'm gonna shave. <laughs> Throw her keys out the window. You do it in the shower sometimes. Yeah. Oh, oh man, nice. Yeah. Just, I can't just go back my to that. Mind a boner. Damn, good for you. Are you able to? Uh, without yeah, porn? without uh, no, without uh, getting guff. Some to, without getting what? Guff. guff. 
Like, can you jerk off and have your girlfriend be okay? <laughs> what did you think I said? Guff. <laughs> I'm trying to jerk off, getting too much guff, man. <laughs> <laughs> getting all guffed up, dude. <laughs> You guys have any guff cream? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you have any, any guff cream? Do you have any guff be gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bottle of red wine. <laughs> oh, you call phone God. sex and she's like, I'm not going to give you any guff. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh fuck. Dude, oh. our grandfathers be rolling in their graves, dude. Like, wait, you guys are getting guff? Or you guys first like jerk off? What the fuck? Second yeah. of all, you're getting guff? Oh, oh it's crazy. Crazy! I have to push my stomach back into my body. Damn, dude. Dude, yeah, did you get guff for fat? He's self-guffing. <laughs> His body's giving himself guff. It's a guff right now. <laughs> you know how it makes me feel. <laughs> This is nuts, man. You know how it makes me right, feel when Let's switch over to Patreon. Oh, so yeah, let's, let's, yeah, we that's, should. Yeah, right. fine by me. I got all right, pay, I got guys, pay. thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, if you're not a patron already, if you go to patreon.com slash dadmeatpodcast, pay whatever the fuck you want. Just come have fun with us. I'm going to cuff. <laughs> I'm going to cuff. We're not going to give you oh, any guff for going cuff. over to there. We're going to switch right over now. We'll be on there in a couple minutes. Thank you so. to everyone that already joined the Patreon or upped your uh, yes. dom scriptions to us. My God. We're basically in the safe zone already. We're going to see how far we can take this thing, but... There's basically no fear over the lost job anymore. We we basically did it. Now let's see how far we can go. I love you guys. Thank let's you guys. Go. Love you. See hey, you over there. See you on the you. Woo! Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Oh fuck. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs>